Hey guys and welcome back to another Arm Religion 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make it so the player moves to a place automatically. So with AI you have AI move to which will just move the AI to a location but you can't use it on a player so what if you want to just move the player to a certain place like a house or a mission objective or something along those lines but you can't use AI move to and you don't want the player to have to do it manually. So I'm going to go over that today so I hit play what I can do is I can walk around we can walk around like so just as you normally would and if I press a button in my case one it's going to take me to a certain location which again for me is just zero 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 but you can customize this to be wherever you like like so and I've also got it so it changes the movement speed when we're doing that and it stops when we move away and we also have it so we can just move like this and it will cancel the path which it doesn't do by default so we're setting it up so it will cancel the path like that when we want to move so this is what we're going to be setting up today so without further ado let me delete the code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint, which for me is content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. And in here, we just want to find some empty space. And once you've found that, we're gonna right click and add a custom event. And I'm gonna name this one move player two. You can name this absolutely whatever you like. And in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in three input parameters over on the right here with the custom event selected. So I'm going to add one parameter, naming this one location, so where we want to move it to, I'm going to make that a vector. Then we're going to add another parameter, naming this one speed, so at the speed at which the player is moving, and I'm going to make that a float. And we're going to add another parameter, naming this one normal speed, leaving that one as a float as well. So I'm going to compile and save that. And the reason we're doing this is just so it makes it a lot easier to reuse and makes it more efficient so we can reuse the same piece of code multiple times without having to remake it. So after this, I'm going to drag and drop in the character movement and out of this set max walk speed like so, connecting that in there with the max walk speed being the speed from the custom event there so we can set the speed to what we want. And then after this, what I'm going to do is get a simple move to location with the controller being get player controller and the goal being the location on the custom event like so, so we can decide the speed at which we want to move the player at and the place we want to move them to. So that will work perfectly like so. Let me just double click these to get some root nodes, just to keep it nice and organized. And so it is that simple, that is how we move the player. But I just want to make it so we can cancel the path if we've started it by just moving the character normally, because you might want to have that in your game as well. So what I'm going to do is go to edit, project settings, and then I'm going to go down to input on the left down here. I'm going to add another action mapping. If you don't have any of these, don't worry, they're just from previous tutorials. So I'm going to hit the plus action mapping, naming this one cancel path or anything along those lines. And I'm going to set these to be my movement keys. So for me, that's going to be W, add another one, A, add another one, S, and finally add one more being D. And you can set these for whatever you like. So you might also have it as a different key. So maybe you have to press control or anything along those lines to cancel it. Just set these keys to whatever you want. And I'm going to close that. And now back in our player blueprint, we can right click and search for cancel path. And now we have that action event there for whatever you just named it. And then out of this, I'm going to come out the character movement again and stop movement immediately, which means it's just going to stop the player from moving along this path and it will cancel it completely but then it will also allow us to keep moving on afterwards as well. And what I'm also going to do is then out of this, I'm going to reset the walk speed again. So I'm going to come out the character movement and set max walk speed like so, connecting that in there with the max walk speed being the normal speed from the move player to there. So what it's going to do is get the normal speed we want to move at, so the speed after we've moved here, and then it's going to reset the walk speed to be that perfectly. However, what is going to happen is this will be set by zero by default until we actually use this custom event and it updates. So whenever we try to move, it will set the walk speed to zero, meaning we won't be able to move. So a simple way of fixing this is what I'm gonna do is drag this out and hold down O and left click to get a do once, connecting that in between the stop movement immediately and the completed going into set max walk speed. I'm gonna tick start closed and the reset will be simple move to location there. So what it's going to do is we can only actually update the walk speed if we're actually moving the player or we have already moved the player like so. 
So now compile, save, and that should be all working perfectly. All we need to do is now call this move player to custom event here. So again, I'm just going to do this on a one keyboard event. So I'm going to right click and get a one keyboard event, but you can do this absolutely wherever you like. Out of pressed, I'm just going to call function move player to like so, target being self, and now we can set up the location, speed, and normal speed. So again, the location, I'm just going to leave a zero, zero, zero. Speed, I want it to be 250, and the normal speed I have at 600. So now we can compile, save, and hit play to test this out. So I should be able to move by default because we have that do once there working perfectly like so. And now if I press one, it's going to start moving to zero, 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 where we have also changed the speed like so. And if we move, we now have the speed reset to what it should be. And if I press one to go there and then press a different button, it's reset our speed and it stopped us on that path. So this works perfectly for us. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can make the characters start moving to a location by default without us having to manually do it. And we can cancel this path by pressing any button of our choosing. And we also have it so we can change the walk speed going there and also going back as well. And again, we've made it in a nice custom event, so it's reusable. We can use this absolutely wherever we want very easily. All you have to do is just cast to the character blueprint if you were in a different blueprint. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.